Hello, church family. It is the week after Thanksgiving, and I thought it'd be appropriate to start with uh, Colossians chapter four today for a refresh, and um, just to be reminded again of how important it is to pray with Thanksgiving. Paul said this with um, with Timothy, and Paul wrote this book from a prison, and he encourages us from a place of suffering to remember to continue steadfastly in prayer, to be watchful in it with thanksgiving. At the same time, pray also for us, he says, that God may open to us a door for the word to declare the mystery of Christ on account of which I am in prison, that I may make it clear which is how I ought to speak. Walk in wisdom toward outsiders, making the best use of the time. Let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how you ought to answer each person. Well, I have some things to be thankful for and wanted to give a report to you about. And um, it has to do with being steadfast in prayer with our life group and with um, a Disciple by Jesus group that meets on Thursday mornings at 6 a.m. here at the church. Anyone's welcome. Um, and every week we praise the Lord for who he is. We, um, we give thanks for the good that he's done. And we're listening for his voice through his word. And then we, we challenge each other to love and care for his sheep. And sometimes that sheep is us in our relationship with the Lord. Sometimes it's a family member. Sometimes it's a, a person in the church family that we want to love and care for. And sometimes it's someone who doesn't know Jesus yet. And so we, we specifically share with each other um, ways to, to care for the Lord's sheep. And, um, and then we pray in belief that he'll help us that week to do that. And so I got some great uh, praise reports on my phone from someone from our life group and also meets on a Thursday in Disciple by Jesus. And we specifically prayed for her. And both of the things we specifically prayed for, she gave good report. Um, she said, I had victory with my son this week, giving praise to the Lord um, and how he's helping me recognize his voice and be more vulnerable um, and connected to his spirit. And then she also said, as she wanted to um, be a light in the world uh, this Thanksgiving, she said she asked her allergist who gives her shots if she could pray for him um, or her, pray for her. And the allergist said, yes, pray for me. And so she had victory in two things that we specifically prayed for her that week. And I also was prayed for by my life group that this Thanksgiving, I'd have an opportunity to be a light um, with someone who you would probably consider, um, I won't go into the details, but an enemy. And um, and we prayed that I would have an opportunity to meet with this person. And actually things changed in my Thanksgiving that opened up a door for me to be uh, with this person for about an hour. And it was such a sweet time. We ended up having coffee and um, getting to listen to each other and share our love for one another after uh, years and years of just praying that this relationship would be reconciled. And we're working, we're working that way toward that. And I just wanted to give praise and give thanks for the things that we've prayed for. Um, Paul said, again, in Colossians 4, continue steadfastly in prayer, being watchful in it with thanksgiving. At the same time, pray also for us that God may open to us a door for the word. And um, I just love that. The Lord wants to open up doors for us. And it's important that we pray steadfastly with thanksgiving, believing that he's going to help us. He's going to help us um, love and care for people and be a light to people in the world, in our families, um, in our church who need to be cared for and loved this week. So bless bless you as you listen in. I hope you're hearing who the Lord wants you to pray for, who the Lord wants you to care for, 
And um, I hope you have that accountability with someone in a small group or a life group um, or one-on-one -on -one where you can um, praise the Lord together, thank him together, um, challenge one another to love and care for others. But it does start with our, our prayer, our steadfast prayer in the Lord and our, our giving thanks uh, for what he's doing in our lives. And then we can pour that out to others. So God bless you. I hope that you can um, go deeper into Colossians chapter four, verses two through four today and hear what the Lord is saying to you personally about praying steadfastly and giving thanks. Have a great rest of your week and we'll see you on Sunday.